So, you know, we're, we're talking about randomness. I wonder if I can weave in uh, quantum mechanics for a brief moment. There's, uh, you know, a lot of advancements on the quantum computing side. So leveraging quantum mechanics to perform a new kind of computation. And there's concern of that being a threat to a lot of the basic assumptions that underlie cryptography. What do you think? Do you think quantum computing will challenge a lot of cryptography? Will cryptography be able to defend all those kinds of things? Okay, great. So first of all, uh, for the record, not because I think uh, it matters, but it's important that the record, there are people who continue to contend that quantum mechanics exist, but has nothing to do with computing. It's not going to accelerate it, um, at least, you know, um, very basic and you know, um, hard computation. That is a belief you cannot uh, uh, take it out. My, I'm a little bit... Uh, more agnostic about it, but I really believe, going back to whatever I said about the, the one-way function, mm -hmm. so one-way function, what is it? That's as a cryptography. So does quantum computing challenge the one-way function? Essentially, you can boil it down to, does quantum computing find a one-way function? What is one-way function? Is in one direction, are in the other. Okay, but if quantum computing exists, when you define what it is easy, is not by a, easy by a classical computer and hard by a classical computer, but easy for a, uh, for a quantum computer, that's a bad idea. But once easy means it should be easy for a quantum and hard for also quantum. Mm -hmm. Then you can see that you are, yes, it's a challenge, but you have hope because you can absorb if quantum computing really realizes and becomes uh, available and um, uh, according to the promises, then you can use them also for the easy part. Mm -hmm. And once you use it for the easy part, the choices that you have a one-way function, they multiply. So, okay, so the particular in candidates of one-way function may not be one way anymore, but quantum one-way function may continue to exist. And so I really believe that <laughs> on a... Uh, um, for uh, life to be meaningful with one-way function had to exist. Because just imagine that uh, anything that is, becomes easy to, to do. I mean, what kind of life is it? I mean, so you need that, and if something is hard, but it's so hard to generate, you'll never find something which is hard for you. You want that there is abundance, there is easy to produce hard problem. That's my opinion is why life is interesting <laughs> because hard problem pop up at a really relative speed. So in some sense, I almost think that I do hope they exist. If they don't exist, uh, somehow life is uh, way less interesting than uh, it actually is. Yeah, it, it does. It, that, that's funny. It does seem like the one-way function is fundamental to all of life, which is uh, the the emergence of the complexity that we see around us seem to require the one-way function. I don't know if you uh, play with cellular automata. That's just another formulation of... I know, but uh, yeah, it's, it's but, but a very simple... It's, it's yes. almost a very simple illustration of starting out with simple rules and one way being able to generate incredible amounts of complexity, but then you ask the question, can I reverse that? And it's just it's just uh, surprising how difficult it is to reverse that. <laughs> uh, it's surprising even in constrained situations, it's very difficult to prove anything. Uh, that it, it almost, uh, I mean, the sad thing about it well, I don't know if it's sad, but it seems like we don't even have the mathematical tools to reverse engineer stuff. Uh, I, I don't know if they exist or not, but in the space of cellular automata, where you start with something simple and you create something incredibly complex, can you take something, a small picture of that complex and reverse engineer? That's kind of what we're doing as scientists here. You're, you're seeing the result of the complexity and you're trying to come up with some universal law that generate all of this. What is the you know the theory of everything? What are the basic physics laws that generate this whole thing? And there's a hope that you should be able to do that, but it gets it's difficult. 
Yeah. But there is also some poetry of the fact that it's difficult. Right. Because uh, he, he gives us some mystery <laughs> to life. Which yeah, without mystery, which, uh, fun. I mean, uh, it's not so fun. Uh, right. Life uh, will not be less fun.